Hello and welcome back to the Rise of Sunderland. We start off with an away game against Rochdale in the FA Cup. We are going to be simulating this one with the first team. Surely the first team of Sunderland should get the win against Rochdale. Let's go. 1-0. Gooch with a goal. We was lucky to win that one. Should be expecting better from the quality of players that we've got. So here we go. We've got an away game now against Portsmouth. We will play this one. I'm not going to bother with the lineups. We're just going to get straight into the game. And we'll see which players are on the pitch at the end of the game. And throughout the game. Not rushing it here. Moving from Why? one side to the other. Come on, Portsmouth on the break again. To get another chance. Good header out there by Power. Are you kidding? How did they manage to keep that ball there? Tackle to get possession of Here's the shot. Oh, Excellent work from the really nice strike there from the Portsmouth man. Very, very powerful effort. Passing it through. First time hit. McLaughlin had to be quick there to react. Now yeah, give me the right back. Oh, too late now. If it's not this letting me tackle. Oh, you knew that was coming. That's the first one, and I think there'll be a few more to come. Big The goal there was superbly taken. Well, he's got a track record of that. On his left side, he's so dangerous. He's just not letting me pass. I'm having to spam the well, pass button just look to get the, the pass off. And then when they're doing stuff like that, you can't tackle. There's just nothing you can do about it. It's a Portsmouth. Low. Rose. Good vision here. And Evans. Guiding it through the defenders. And there it is! I told you that was coming, didn't I? There is nothing you can do if the computer is just not letting you pass and not letting you tackle. There is nothing you can do. You're just going to get opened up like a tin of soap. What a spell of play this is. Look at the this play. So With that many together. players, two and I well. think you do about it. Good goal by Portsmouth. Brown Curtis there with his fourth goal in League One. What's the point in having 11 players Curtis. on the pitch when it half a time, nine to one, nine times out of ten, it don't let you pick anyone? It's gone out for a oh, it's just disgusting, disgusting Decided game this is. This there we go, Burgess. Scoring from a set piece, it's so satisfying. We're down 3-0 <clears throat> to Portsmouth. Got to admit, it was a good-headed goal from Burgess. The computer just did not want us anywhere near in this game at all. There is nothing we can do. It's just not letting me pass. I'm, I'm spamming the pa Why is he slide tackling? I didn't... That was. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing I can do against Portsmouth at the minute. <clears throat> They're all over us. At the we minute, in this the match, sure the our boys Kevin. can't tackle, the they can't the pass. No point in even talking about shooting because we haven't had a, a chance. Well again. Good goal by Portsmouth no, there. We got absolutely ass fucked in that one. 4 0 to Portsmouth. We had no shots, none on target, shot accuracy zero, a pass accuracy 84%. Fuck off, was it? That was nowhere near close to our pass accuracy. We had no shots. They had eight shots, four goals, seven on target. Talked about getting EA'd. That is absolutely ridiculous, and I'm definitely thinking about going to Pez. And let's FIFA 20 picks up its game. They can fuck off and kiss my ass. We've got a transfer offer here for Adam Matthews, 840. I think we can get more than that. He, he still is a good player. But I want to train up our youngster Evans. Let's see if they'll accept 
I hope they do. We definitely do with the money. 8 4. I don't care about sell on clause. 1.14. 9 50. I'll accept that. That offer's a bit better. Hopefully, he joins them. Brings us in some money. So, here we go with a game at the Stadium of Light against Bradford. Let's get straight into this game. And the boys definitely want to be playing a lot better than they did against Portsmouth. To be smash 4 now. It's just not acceptable. So, here we are against Bradford on a snowy, cold day. I am expecting a far better performance from the boys. We're going to have a, a fight to the finish here. A really exciting end to the season. I think any neutral loves to oh, see. Oh, the it. lucky first touch oh, there. Just goes straight off our man's foot. But we are so lucky they are not one goal up already. With a good strike by the Bradford man. Oh, just over there. <clears throat> nice bit of power on it. But just slightly swerving away from goal. Took a strike. A very powerful strike there from White. Definitely got some power on that daisy cutter. But the keeper with a good save. What can we get from this corner? Oh, they cleared it off the line. Oh, Donald again with a brilliant save. James Runner. Unlucky. They're definitely making chances. We will bring Akani off for Honeyman. We've still got some time in this game. Come on, White. Don't take a decade. Put the pass in. Get in! Come on! 1 0 to Sunderland. Oh, is that Honeyman? I'm sure it is. What a goal! We needed that. It's in the previous match to get slapped by Portsmouth 4 0. We needed a comeback and we needed a win in this game. Two goals in League One for Honeyman. In from the wide area. Baldwin with a defending. brilliant clearance there. <laughs> what more with his fresh legs? Here's a chance to go down the outside of your position. Put into the middle. It's in. Get in! Ball swung in. <clears throat> and Gooch gets the header. Gives us a 2 0 lead over Bradford in the 75th minute. Oh, we needed that. The fresh legs on the left-hand side. Swinging the ball in. Gooch with a sweetly timed header there. Very nice there from the American. We actually win a game full-time. Oh, did we deserve this win? They had four shots. None was on target, but... Oh... They gave us a test. We had nine shots, five on target. This is what we want to be expecting from the boys. So at a stadium of light, we get a 2-0 win over Bradford. Nice to see. We have a game at a stadium of light against Shrewsbury. We will be simulating this game. Their last three games have been two losses and a draw. So hopefully, we should get the win. Come on, Sunderland. And we do, we win by four goals to one. The goal by their player was Akinabira. Okay. And ours is Wyke with two, Abbas with one, and Gooch with one. That's a good win. So here we go with our uh, emails, youth squad report. We will look at those in a moment. Let's see what we found in England. Patrick Baker, not good enough. Morgan Hall isn't good enough oh Toby Moore we will sign you in Oscar Bailey we will sign you in 
And oh, Ollie Wright, we're definitely signing you in. So Matthews has left the club. He's agreed a contract with Hamburg. Yeah. Uh, player returned. Roshan Williams has returned from his injury. That is really nice to see. Pre-contract agreement. Who we did actually sign. Francis Amuzu. He is a beast of a player. He really is. He's definitely coming in. For a bass. Let's have a quick look at this. Acceleration of Amuzu is 92, agility 83, balance 90, jumping 90, sprint speed 84, dribbling 73. He can play as a centre forward or a left midfield. Medium medium work rates, 5 star weak foot which is absolutely brilliant, 3 star score moves and a speed dribbler. Really nice to see, I'm happy with that. This is going to be the last play game of the episode. We've got an away game against Blackpool. Oh, Blackpool, sorry. Uh, we are going to see Amuzu in action in his first game for Sunderland. Uh, let's try and get a good result. Let's get straight into the game. So here we go on the 1st of January with a tough game against a very strong Blackpool team. We've made a couple of changes due to fitness. For this match. But we put it up and what looks, Alan, very defensive, but there's flexibility, isn't there, in the side? Yeah, and uh, I think with his shapes. He's had a go here. Back out of the get bar. it out. He's just put it oh my spearing just very, very close with that header well, there. He was gonna score there I, think. I thought that was going straight in the back of the net. Just unlucky, it was wide. Akamadu on the ball. If other results go their way today. Well, we're past the halfway mark, Martin. Oh, off we this is when the league oh table brought down really again. Akamadu brought twi fifth, down twice. We'll position, so here we go in the second half against Blackpool. The Let's hope we get a good rest of the game. Oviedo, take a shot. Whoa, what a thunderbolt by Oviedo. How far out was that attempt? The power and the placement he showed on that finish. Let's just have another look. Pushed through to Brian Oviedo. Smacked it clean in the back of the net. Too much power on it for the keeper. Sweet strike on his left foot. Curling into the right side of goal. Doing well to keep the ball. Oh, don't Shots concede straight away. Power, but not too much but Davies with a quick fire counter attack by Blackpool. Almost equalised, but just whiskers away with that effort. Come on, Clark, chase him down. Or not. Davis. Well, he took it wow. Up I bring Phillips on for Clark. Give the youngsters a run. Attacking well here. Take a strike. Oh, what a strike that was! That was a brilliant strike there from Honeyman, showing why in real life he is the captain. Akamadu doing well, holding up the ball. Nice little back heel. Yeah, straight through. Past their defender. And in the back of the net. Good strike there. Third goal in League One for George Honeyman. Here's Thompson. Don't want to give up the clean sheet. Oh, they're opening us up far too easy there. Oh, Gennaro giving the ball away stupidly. And whoa, sparing ever wild effort. We'll bring our nine on for Gennaro. Gennaro's had a pretty good solid game in midfield. Oh, well, there we go, the final whistle. We do get a win, we get a clean sheet. That's what we wanted in this game. A very tough test to play against Blackpool and get a good result, especially away to their home. 
they had <clears throat> six shots none of them was on target we had ten shots two goals six on target shot accuracy was ours was 60% pass accuracy 77 they definitely did a lot better in their passing but overall away from home against Blackpool we got a nice 2-0 win let's keep it up well it's the January transfer window now if you have any suggestions who, sh who we should uh, look into signing leave them in the comments below who we should be selling leave it in the comments below and uh, we can go from there because it's nice to bring some talent in I'd love to have your suggestions so uh, keep them in the comments below I will get to it I'll have a look through them all and uh, it's been a good episode I'll see you in the next episode I'll see you later